Adobe was an American professional baseball player who was one of the first African Americans to break baseball's color barrier. But beside his public person, who was Larry Doby? We spoke with Betty Brown to find out more. I was related to him, and you know, he was a part now of my life, which made me very proud. Betty Brown was living in Patterson when Larry Doby moved into the neighborhood and started going to the same school as her. Here, she's elaborating on how she and Mr. Doby met. I met Larry when he came from the South, and he lived in the neighborhood and went to the Eastside High School with my sisters. Through her sister Betty Brown, was able to experience who Larry Doby was as a person. He was very nice, you know, he was nice to be around. He always was a lot of fun. And uh, of course, he always had a baseball bat in his hand, so he always wanted to play ball. And uh, it was just fun and games when he was around. It was really nice. Away from the limelight, Larry Doby was really just an ordinary guy. It makes you feel very proud to know that, yes, you are related to someone who is a major league ball player and who also beat the color barrier by being the first black in the American League. Legend in every sense of the word, Larry Doby was a positive impact in the lives of everyone around him. Sadly, his life came to a tragic end. Unfortunately, he had cancer, yeah. Well, I may tell something which, well, let's, his wife died first, she had cancer. And after that, he didn't want to take his treatments. Overall, Larry Doby was a trailblazer in the sport of baseball. Breaking barriers and setting standards, he was truly a baseball legend.